After months in space, U.S. astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams have finally returned to Earth. Relief, especially for residents of Williams' uh, ancestral village in India's Gujarat. <laughs> celebrations in the village of Julasan, that's home to Ms. Williams' father, before he moved to the United States in 1957. School children, teachers and local residents held prayer ceremonies and danced to drums and firecrackers. A feast was also prepared with some comparing celebrations of a safe return to Diwali festivities. The NASA astronauts returned to Earth in a SpaceX capsule which safely splashed down near Florida around 5.57 p.m. local time. Their journey home lasted 17 hours. Wilmore and Williams were stranded in space for nine months after problems with their Boeing Starliner aircraft, Pradney Craft, which turned a week-long stay on the International Space Station into a nine-month odyssey. So just how did they end up stranded in space for all that time? CNA's Julie Yu explains. But Wilmore and Williams blasted off into Boeing's Starliner last June, heading to the International Space Station. They were supposed to be back in just over a week, but things didn't go as planned. During their 24-hour journey to the ISS, five of the spacecraft's 28 thrusters malfunctioned. A propellant valve also failed, and multiple helium leaks were reported. NASA eventually deemed the vehicle unsafe for crew, and the capsule returned to Earth in September last year without the two astronauts. Now, the current plan to bring the stranded space flyers home was then set into motion. A SpaceX mission called Crew-9 was launched that same month. It brought two astronauts to the ISS on board a Dragon spacecraft with two empty seats for Wilmore and Williams. But the long-awaited Crew-10 mission to swap out the astronauts was delayed in its final hour last week due to a hydraulic issue. It blasted off two days later, paving the way for Wilmore and Williams to return home. So what were the astronauts up to during their extended stay? Between them, they spent more than 900 hours working on more than 150 scientific experiments. Asuni Williams also broke the record for the most spacewalk time by a woman, a staggering 62 hours and six minutes across all her missions. The NASA assures that despite the delay, their time in space posed no major risks, with the ISS resupplied with all the essentials like food, water and oxygen. But NASA also flags potential risks to personal health of astronauts due to extended stay in space, from vision changes to bone density loss. And it says the radiation in space could potentially increase the risk of cancer and other degenerative disorders, though research into this is still ongoing. So with all these risks, why do we keep sending astronauts into space? Now, the answer lies in the unique environment of space. Microgravity offers a scientist a chance to conduct groundbreaking research from how molecules react in space and how the human body adapts to spaceflight. An observation from orbit also provides a key source of data to track climate change and inform natural disaster responses.